shit. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is two night hammock camp. Me and Bruce, Bruce, he's covered in seeds, he's a right mess. So if you can see him, come here. It seems all over you. Oh, I've been pulling these out for ages. Oh, Brucey. So, yes, hammocking this time. Found a spot, it's a horrible walk in. It was a nightmare, I'm absolutely drenched. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, I found two trees. This is a good spot. I've got a nice little clearing, a bit of grass in front, river behind me. Uh, nice spot, really nice spot. So I've got to get the hammock sorted. So first thing I need to do is get my tarp up. I've got a four by three meter tarp. I've got two hammocks with me. And the first hammock I'm gonna use is the one tigress compound, which is the cheap one. And then tomorrow I'll switch it over to the uh, war bonnet Blackbird XLC. Okay, so first things first, get the tarp up. Now, I'm not sure which way I want to do this. It is four by three. I might just have it lengthways. got some spare carabiners. I can clip the, uh, clip the top of the top up. All right, we're looking good. So now all I've got to do is tie the back, pin the back, and uh, we're good to go. Let's put the uh, hammock up. Using groundhog, big MSR groundhog stakes. Okay. So you take one carabiner, clip it on the end, and then what you'll do is you'll just hook it around the other end of the strap. Yeah, that should be fine. The reason I don't like threading the whole strap through and tying it onto a tree is it just takes longer to remove. And if it's icy, it's a real pain. With the carabiner, it's just quick release. Okay. So the one tigress compound, it's quite a narrow, You've got a stick, Bruce. Got a narrow uh, hammock. I've got to remember where the head end is. We've got the longest point for now. You can hear it's just starting to rain. So your feet need to be higher. Your feet need to be higher than your head, and that's the angle that you're looking for on the strap.
tree straps I've got, I've got notches already built in. Pretty handy. And then the hammock, the uh, tarp over. Should be in business. What I want to do is get a pole for the center just to prop the front up. Otherwise, we're all good. Plenty of room inside. Just need to clear some twigs that are underneath. Oops, what am I doing? Okay. Got to find a pole. There's a lot of dead standing stuff. I'll get that, cut it to size and come back to you. There's a stag. Just up this gully, roaring at us. Bruce has heard it. He's not doing anything. I'll keep Bruce close. Right, Bruce? But this is the roar. This is the season. The rut season. And I smelt them earlier. So they're going to be around. They're going to walk through camp, probably, if they don't smell me. Um, but it is what it is. Right. Everything's set up. I want to move everything under there. Let me just show you what it looks like. I don't know if it's the most beautiful setup, but it's going to work. Cut a pole, got that tied off, everything's tight. I could put two on this, two strings, just to keep it steady, but only if it gets windy, then I might. Um, but it's stable, it's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. And it's on elastic, so it's, it's holding it really well. Everything's pretty tight, I can make it tighter if I want to. Uh, I've got headroom, I can sit in here, no problem. Oh. That's comfy. That's comfy. There's no way the rain is going to get to me. This tarp is so big. I've got loads of headroom. Perfect. What is this? You've not seen the hammock. Bruce has never seen the hammock. Have you, Bruce? Hey. Oh, look at that. On cue, he looks at the camera. All right, I'm going to unpack a bit, get everything set up, and uh, sort Bruce out. Maybe think about getting a fire going as well. Um, I've brought my camp chair with me so I can still sit under and just have the fire just off the edge there. Okay, I'll come back to you in a bit. Well, I think that's firewood taken care of for tonight. I've got a bigger piece than this as well back in there. But this is sizable for what I need. I just need coals to do some slow cooking on. So I've got to process this up and think about a fire. As long as the log's behind you, and there you go. Perfectly split. Getting some rocks for the fire. So, I need to find the spot that I'm going to sit. It's not cold now, it's warm. It's going to get cold. You'll notice I'm wearing what they call here gum boots. These are neoprene 100% waterproof boots because uh, I had to walk through some pretty horrible stuff. These things are good down to minus 20 degrees centigrade. They're amazing. Uh, my feet are so warm in these. 
even if your feet get wet, that's the beauty of these, they stay nice and toasty. Um, you can tighten these ones right up, stop the heat escaping, keeps all that heat in. My feet are roasting in these, it's really nice. And when you're walking around, everything soaks all the time. Leather with Gore-Tex lining, doesn't dry out. Doesn't matter what you do, it just won't dry. Okay, that should keep it contained nicely. Air can still get to it. I'm hoping that's wide enough for my grill to fit on as well. Do some of my cooking. Get your rock set up first so it's all ready. I've got some fat wood. I'm gonna shave some pieces off and then light this thing up. Fatwood to the rescue. Got some nice big chunky stuff to put on here. I need a lot of coals for what I'm going to do. So tonight I'm going to cook up a roast chicken. This beech wood takes a little while to take uh, to catch. It's not the quickest stuff in the world because it's just so wet around here all the time. When it rains here, it's pretty epic. There we go, smother that thing. Right, I think it's time for a beer. Citizen Rescue Citizen Rework from New Zealand. Hazy IPA. Beer made with bread. Rescue and rework. We rescue surplus foods and turn them into tasty goodness like this beer. You see that? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And seriously, it says beer made with bread. It's a good sign, it's frothy. Wow, that smells citrusy. Grapefruit. Really refreshing. Wow, that's really nice. Staggered. Never heard of it either. It's so good. Gear wise, what I've got with me today enlightened equipment, is it 10 degree Fahrenheit um, quilt? Top quilt, and I've got an outdoor vitals, 15 Fahrenheit, under quilt. And I've got Bruce's dog bed. You see, if I take his dog bed out now and put it here, right beside me, he'll still go and make his own bed somewhere. Now why he's chosen that spot is because there's a clearing opposite and he can see all around. He needs to see. When the stag roared, he was looking that way. So he'll just hang out. If it starts raining, I will bring him in because there's plenty of room for him under here. This is the ideal setup. It's a good tarp, this, my 3FUL. I like it a lot. It doesn't have the same problem that those other ones do by having the tab attached to the top so the whole thing just keeps getting soaked. It doesn't have that problem. 
so they just end up dripping off like that it's no problem at all and this is a four by three meter so really perfect for a hammock because it just covers both ends so well so even if you've got some driving rain not a problem uh, even if the rain comes in at the side I've got so much room there's no way I could get wet here if it got really really windy I would bring this down attach it really low so I'm gonna just kick back relax enjoy the fire and uh, come back to you later Hello, my lovely. I want to take all these seeds off you. So many seeds. Thank you. I know, it's almost your dinner time. You have to wait, you have to wait. Wait for dinner. You have to wait. What are you doing, Bruce? You're exploring. What have you found? You found a possum? You found a possum? Or have you found a a deer? Huh? Have you found a deer? Did you hear a deer roaring? Are you a good boy? <laughs> Will you sit? Good boy! Will you lie down? Good boy! Oh, didn't last long. You're gonna go find a possum. Go on, Bruce. Go find a possum. Do something. Do something for the fans. You've got lots of fans. Can you make your ears go back? So we've already had our first failure. The um, ridge line for this, uh, what is it? One tigress, um, gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. It's a one tigress hammock. Um, it's the ridge line came loose, and from what I can tell, it actually completely gave way the, 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 the thread. So I've had to tie it onto uh, some carabiners that I've had to put on before because the carabiners it comes with bent and it almost collapsed while I was sitting in it. I've had to tie it on myself to get the ridge line back. Um, so it's nice and tight now, but I fixed it myself. And the ridge line allows you to adjust your lying angle. Uh, you don't want it too strong because you'll be a banana, um, but you want it enough that you've got a good ridge line. So I fixed it myself, but um, again, you shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to walk around with spare carabiners to fix this stuff so you know it's one tigress and this is this is meant to be the best of the Chinese stuff it makes you wonder what the worst of the Chinese stuff is like he doesn't usually lie by the fire but he's waiting for his D-I-N-N-E-R but I want us to eat together this time. So he can wait a bit. This is pumping off a lot of heat now. So I just need this to burn right down to coals so I can start cooking the, uh, the roast chicken. Uh, these gloves are Youngstown flame retardant. I think they're for welding or they're for the oil industry. They're waterproof, they're insulated. They are cut resistant. They've got Kevlar lining. Serious, serious gloves. You can stick your hands in the fire and move everything around and you're completely fine. The cowhide, 
but yeah waterproof as well which is you know pretty pretty cool but yeah I can move all these around and I can't feel a thing very cool gloves it didn't even get hot inside I'm sure it's hot on the outside yeah it's hot on the outside so Kevlar lining really good okay first things first make a bit of a skewer sorry Bruce okay Too close. It's raining now. And Bruce is out in the rain. As usual. Just the second it started raining, he's bounced into action started playing can't help himself chicken is sizzling you can hear it What you doing, Bruce? What you got in there? Mm, what have you found? Bruce? Bruce? What have you found? What's in there? Why don't you come under the cover? It's nice and dry. No. Okay, that's that. smell the chicken now. It smells good. You have to keep turning it. So that's going to great. coming down now. So the forecast was right. It's meant to do this all night and all tomorrow.
healthy. Even now, Bruce has got his head just enough to be in the rain. And there he goes. No, Bruce, come back here. Come on. Come back under here. Here. Right here. Come on. Come and lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Oh. Yeah. You'll have your dinner soon, okay? Just stay here. He just he just wants to go and play in the rain. But I don't want him soaking wet. Not on the first night. He's gonna sulk now. Shit. Rookie mistake, chicken fell off. Luckily it landed on the rock. It's a big chicken, there's a lot. Follows me everywhere. Okay, he's waited long enough. I think it's time to eat now. Got his dog food and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut him some chicken as well. Oh my god, this chicken is so good. Oh, the skin looks amazing. Somehow I need to get a bit more heat out of this fire. We'll cook the rest of it there. Okay. Check it out. The juice is coming off it amazing. It smells delicious. He's very lucky. All right, go on then, Bruce. Mmm. And you know what? I need a beer. This is a Brutiful Haze New England IPA Deep Creek. Yeah, that's really good. Mmm. Bruce has finished his already. Unbelievable. Okay. You can go and play now, Bruce. Go on. There's no more. Well, there might be a bit more later. We'll see. So I've had some more chicken. I'm going to have a bit more now. I'm going to cut some off for Bruce. It's hot. Just wait, Bruce. Very hot. Not the herbs, just the chicken itself. Get some strands in there for him. Mm. All right, that's Brucey's. Wait, Bruce. It's too hot. Too hot. Wait. No, it's too hot for you. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to be patient, aren't you? Eh? Okay. <laughs> he doesn't want to wait. Oh, it smells so good. You're gonna have to be a good boy and just wait for a minute. It's too hot. Mmm. All right, on then, Bruce. Should be okay now. That's so good. Organic chicken. Grilled over the fire. I mean, it takes a long time. You've got to be patient. You've got to keep turning it. But it's worth it. Mmm. 
cigar time. Always carry a couple of big lighters with you. They're so cheap and they just work. I stoked the fire up again. I thought, eh, getting caught. Oh, here's Brucey. He's come to say hello because I'm talking. Hey, Brucey, what you been doing? Where are you going? Bruce, what's this? Come here. Come here. Come and say hello. Hey, Bruce, come here. Come on. Look who it is! It's Bruce! He's been playing. I haven't seen him for ages. Oh, he's licking the stick! What's this? Can you smell this? What's on there? Oh, you want my stick? There goes my skewer. He's happy. Yeah, I crank the fire. It's cold. It's getting colder. I've got my wool Swan Dry Ranger Extreme on. I've got another wool bush shirt as well that I will put on if it gets much colder. All right, time for a drop of brandy. Cheers. Oh, and to Ella. Happy 21st birthday. I hope you have a great time. And my only advice to you is don't ever make gin and tonics ever again. Bruce loves that skewer, loves that stick. It must just taste superb because it's had all of the chicken juices on it. So yeah, he's just been lying out, playing in the woods. I, I could hear him. He always sort of keeps you near and he listens for you all the time, but he's out playing all the time. And it's just, it's cold and it's raining and um, He's not interested in coming in. I could put a bed out, a mattress, like Matthew Poser does for Monty. I could, I could put all that stuff out. He won't stay on it. He's not interested. He's a totally different dog. This is a true outdoor, fully active dog. Not interested in sitting still ever. And once he's done with his stick, he's gonna be off in the woods again. And unlike Monty, he doesn't fetch. He's not a gun dog, he's not a fetch dog, he's a herding dog. You throw a stick, he'll run, he'll grab it, and then he'll drop it, and that's it. But he's happy, he's happy to be here. So I haven't put my under quilt out yet, I haven't put my top quilt out. That's, they're all still packed up. I was gonna do it maybe half an hour before bed, give it time to loft up a bit. I just didn't want smoke going on it. Um, I was walking back and forth, fixing things with the awning. It's all perfect now. Um, so yeah, I'll do that afterwards. I'm bone dry under here with the hammock, tons of space. Got my fire, got my cigar, got my brandy. What more do you want? Oh, and I've got my dog. I've got Bruce. Bruce, is that a nice stick?
I bought wool, not down, because I knew I was having a fire. And I'd rather not have down when I've got a fire going because one ember or anything and it's toast. Whereas wool can take it naturally fire resistant. Done. Gross. Well, he's 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 cleaned it all up. The grate. I might need to burn it off now. Just sterilize it on the fire for a bit. All right. Bruce, I think you've, uh, I think you've got it. I really do. I don't think there's anything left. So I've set up the stones. I took the two front ones, built a little wall at the back as a heat reflector. Oh my God, the difference. It's so hot. <laughs> the, the heat is incredible. I've chucked that big log on top um, because I've, I've got plenty more firewood um, over in the bush I've just got to cut up but I might as well get rid of this tonight and it's now so toasty I was going to put another top on another the, the bush shirt but it's so toasty now and it's just mesmerizing watching watching the fire so the two stones at the back just forming this ref reflective barrier and that is actually hot that's what two feet away and it's hot so very toasty okay I'll come back when it's ready for bed all right it's bedtime Time to put the uh, under quilt on and the top quilt. So this is the under quilt. Hello Brucey. Hello my little man. Yes, it's bedtime. So this is the Outdoor Vitals 15 degree bag, 15 degree Fahrenheit. So Bruce wants to get a bed as well. So I haven't actually attached this before, but it should be pretty simple. So there's a carabiner at each end. I don't think it makes a difference which end it goes. Bruce seems to want to get up here and go into bed as well. No, Bruce, get down. So I reckon this goes under and then hooks over the end. carabiner at the other end. The whole thing will sit in there. Okay. not a good start. This one's come detached from the carabiner. Well, that's not good. 
yeah the elastic has popped out of the little gripper it's not snapped or anything I'm just gonna put it back in again okay done ah it's not holding that's the problem oh that's poor another poor quality item it's not gripping okay we have to tie a knot in it wow having some bad luck with gear okay I think we're sorted pillow non-slip make sure like pillow so difference between sleeping bag and top quilt obviously sleeping bag is closed closes all the way top quilt is open at the bottom saves on material so it's lighter because you don't need that material at the bottom anyway All right, looking good. I'm hoping that keep me warm. Now, Bruce is actually snuggled down. You can't see him. He's already tried to make a home for himself in the bushes over there. But I'm going to get his bed ready. All right, I'm going to sort the fire out. I'll come back to you when I'm already in bed. I'm in the hammock. It's quite claustrophobic. There's not a lot of room in here. The outdoor vitals um, under quilt. <laughs> Every single elastic piece came undone. I had to tie knots in it. Even then I think it's a bit tight. I'm not sure how high up it's coming. I just can't get it to loosen. Um, Maybe it's just not designed for a hammock this long, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll tell you what though, it feels hot <laughs> underneath me. So it is doing its job. It is doing its job. I'll grant it that I'm roasting in here. But it is claustrophobic. I have slept in here before. In this one tigress hammock. And uh, yeah, you're cocooned in. I don't know if it's a bad thing or not. It's got a winter cover as well, but I'm not going to put that on. It's not that cold. I'm looking forward to using the war bonnet tomorrow, having a bit more space. All right, I am going to call it an evening. Bruce is asleep underneath me in his bed. Will he stay there? I don't know. But I'll show you what it looks like and then I'm going to hit the sack. Night night, Brucey. Sweet dreams. All our gear piled up. I've toweled him off. He's dry-ish. And he's in his sleeping bag. He won't stay in there, I'm sure. He'll hear something and he'll head off. But he seems to be a bit tired, so we'll see. I'm swinging away. All right. Good night, everybody. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's almost seven. It's still a bit dark out, so I've got a light on. It was an interesting night's sleep. I was hot. Really hot. <laughs> Both these. Oh, overkill and here's Bruce trying to get in. Hang on. Show you. He's, he's up. Oh my gosh, Bruce, you can't do that. No, 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 no. Down, Bruce. Down, down. He's trying to get in. Down, down, Bruce. Down. I can feel you're wet. Good boy. Just wait. Good boy. Just wait. Be patient. <laughs> he wants to say good morning.
even if it means jumping up in here. Yeah, I was uh, I was hot. It was nice, nice cocoon. Oh, you can see Bruce. There he goes. Bruce, what are you doing? He didn't stay in his bed at all. I watched him go off and he was wandering around all night. He did sleep under here occasionally when he felt like it. Otherwise he made a little natural shelter over by a tree. Yeah, so a bit overkill. The, the top quilt and the, the under quilt I've got, but better to be safe than sorry. I was freezing once when I did it before. This hammock is quite comfortable. Quite comfortable. Yeah. But it's restrictive. It is restrictive. I, I don't like all this mesh. I think. There is there is a strap you can peg it out from the side if you want to make it wider but it's really in the way then because you're trying to get in that way otherwise it all just flops in like this and again this side has um, cord here that you can peg out so to give you a lot more room inside but it's very restrictive when you do that getting in and out it's a real pain and it also stops you swaying but I like to sway but it's very flexible. You can stretch out. You can spread your legs out. You can lie on your side. You can do all sorts of things. So way more comfy lying in here than ever being in a tent. Way more comfortable. Okay, I think I'm gonna get up and greet the day. Say good morning to Bruce. Yeah, I bought the Trangia with me because convenience not having to have a fire constantly and I do like my coffees this time I'm gonna do coffee a bit differently I'm gonna do cowboy coffee Find that exciting? Yeah, cowboy coffee. So, Bruce, get out of it. Go away. this one this time because the stuff I had before was flaring up this is a better brand diggers I've used it before and it doesn't flare up so there is a difference between the different types of meths and I found that the high quality meth doesn't flare. So what's the difference? It could just be down to there's a little bit more water in here or better water uh, and it stops the flare up means the flame lasts longer. So now I've got to find my lighter. I don't know where I put it. Luckily, I have a backup. Two backups. Oh. No, no idea where I put it. Every time Bruce hears a plastic bag, he comes running back. No because he thinks it's more food for him because his food's in plastic bag. Makes the same sound. All right, cowboy coffee.
So there are several ways to make this. One is to put the coffee grinds in the kettle. I've seen a lot of people do that. And uh, that works well. Or you can just put the coffee grinds straight in the cup. Um, I think in the kettle is probably uh, better because it keeps most of the grinds in there, but you can do it in the cup. You put the coffee grinds in, you put the hot water on, let it steep, then you put some cold water on the top and the grinds will drop and it's good to go. So I'll come back to you when this is boiling and ready. Let's get our coffee in. So the new fuel, this digger's fuel, much better. Didn't flare up at all. So yeah, get decent fuel. open the packet better than I did. Okay. You just let that steep. Now you can continue to boil it uh, or simmer it. Um, but I'm happy with it like that. And I just let it steep for only a minute. That's all I need. Um, then I pour a little bit of cold water in the top. The grinds will sink to the bottom and you're good to go. Just pour a little bit of water. Which is quite difficult to do when the container's so full. So you see all the grinds drop to the bottom and you only have to sprinkle the water on. You don't have to do as much as I'm just doing here, but I want to cool it down so I can drink it straight away. And that's it. That cold water makes the grinds sink to the bottom. You should have a nice clear coffee. I have no idea why it's leaking out the top. Never done that before. I've overfilled it, that's why. But I can see there's no grinds in there at all. That was messy. <laughs> but good. And the smell is amazing. It should be grind-free coffee. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. There you go, cowboy coffee. See, that's why it's good to have a camp chair. Ow. Prickly thing. That's why it's good to have a camp chair, so you can move around. I just thought I'd come and look at the river, sit here with Bruce and have my coffee. Oh, good boy. What a change. Oh, you actually bought a stick back for one. He's, you can't see him, but he's down here eating the stick. Can you smell chicken on the fire? On the rocks? Hmm? You looking for more chicken? 
Two gum. Two gumbers. Hmm? You've been jumping in the river. Don't get me a stick. Where's your stick? show you this. I don't know if it will come out well in the camera or not. All the grinds are in there, full of them. See that? So it worked perfectly. Right, I'm going to chill out, have my coffee. Come back to you maybe when I'm doing some breakfast. I'm not hungry yet, so I'll come back to you later. Let's listen to the rain and watch mad dog lying under under the water I don't know if you can see him yeah you can see him and it's dripping so all of the rain is coming down here and falling straight on him and he's just lying there he's mad oh like that oh that got him <laughs> that just fell on him <laughs> that was enough oh you didn't like that did you you're such a silly dog like <laughs> he's so funny <laughs> he wasn't expecting that he didn't mind the smaller amount, but that made him jump. Bruce, why don't you lie under the tarp with me? Yeah, you've got to lie in the rain, haven't you? Alright, come back to you later.
it's been raining like this now heavily for an hour, I guess. Um, it's given me a chance to test out all the different theories. So having the carabiners at the end of the hammock connecting to the tree straps has definitely worked. You can see the water is dripping off of the carabiner, so it's not making it to the rope of the hammock. If it, if it dripped all the way down, then you'd have a wet hammock. The tarp itself, um, I just had to fix the ridge line, just tighten it with the, the prussic knot, just really tighten it, and that's worked perfectly. So now the water is beading straight off everywhere. So, the one tigress compound hammock, what do I think? Not that big a fan anymore. I've used it a few times. I didn't have a great sleep because you're so cocooned. I was warm. The outdoor vitals under quilt kept me warm. Had a couple of failures with it at the beginning when it uh, the knots slipped off. But um, yeah, it did the job in the end. It kept me very toasty. But it should. It's, it's a it's a 15 degree Fahrenheit bag and it's nowhere near that temperature. Bruce, what are you doing in there? Why are you hiding in that bush in the room, eh? What are you doing? You're having fun? You're having a good time? I know you're having a good time. This is what he does. He hides and watches to see what's going to come out. The one tigress compound hammock. So yeah, pretty thin material, but that's, I guess that's not not that bad a problem. Okay, as I said earlier, when I was in there, you're quite cocoon. To stop that happening, you have to guy out the sides. But there's a problem. If you guy the sides out, and there's there's bungee cord on the end, ele uh, elastic. If you guy the sides out, this is exactly where you're trying to get in. So it's in the way. Um, but that's how you make it wider. You have to guide both sides out and then the netting doesn't, doesn't fall on you. Um, but yeah, it, it means that there's a lot of pressure on here if you, when you sit down then. And I don't know how, how well these will fare over the long term. It this does have uh, a cover, a top cover. I didn't use it last night. It's good for when it's um, cold. This zips all the way over you so you've got the bug net and this sort of winter top cover it's, it's not rainproof or anything like that um, and this actually connects up to the ridge line to keep it off you so you've got like a more of a cocoon um, and it comes right up right up to your face and you can actually completely cover yourself in this so if it's really cold or if it's really windy uh, you can cover yourself with this now that is a good Feature. I do like that. So it has got some benefits. It's got lots of quirky little things like that, the cover. Um, and it is only 60 bucks US. So, I, you know, with all the features, I guess you do get a lot for your money, but just have backups. Have backup power cord for the ridge line um, just in case. I definitely have backup mini carabiners um, and be prepared for some things to fail. Set this up. Right, so this is the war bonnet. Now, I'm not sure which end goes where. So I'm assuming the red end is the head end. Well, that was an immediate fail. So, the straps that I've got, um, and I'm not sure why, it must be because of all the loops are double thick and that doesn't fit through those beetle buckles that doesn't work if it was single thickness strip then the idea is you'd thread it through and then you could adjust it and pull tight like that but these won't fit in because they're double double thickness I've got a loop all over so I'm gonna to need to use carabiners
Okay. So now that carabiner is going to go on the end of the hammock. I've got to go and do the same for the other end, so I'll get on with that and come back to you. Hook them on. So that's what that looks like. So now I just need to hook that onto the tree strap. And then pull this through to the other end. I hope I've got it the right way around. I don't know. I think I have, yeah. So that's the shelf. You know what? I have absolutely no idea if I've got this right. And now I come to think of it, I don't think I have. I might have to turn it around. Okay, let me sort this out and I'll come back to you. All right, so here it is, all set up. Uh, I can tell you straight away it's a much nicer product. Um, everything, all the attachments are stronger. Yeah, I'm impressed, much nicer. So this has the pocket, there's a, a shelf here inside to store all your stuff and once you anchor it out and these anchors are not in the way like they are in the compound in the one tigress the material is way thicker much nicer yeah it's got the ridge line I don't think it's adjustable ridge line no it's just a fixed ridge line yeah the carabiners look stronger the rope it's much finer the mesh is finer the stitching just looks so much better in every way Ooh, getting hot now. All right, I might set up my um, under quilt and uh, come back to you. Now, this is, a, by the way, this is a double layer hammock, so I could have a uh, sleeping pad in it instead, but uh, I went with the under quilt this time. All right, let me get all that set up and I'll come back to you. Oh, it's all set up. Well, I'm hot now. As I say, it's not cold. Um. Seems like a good product. I just lay down in it. It's gonna be tricky because you lie diagonally in it. So you get a flat lie. So I'm gonna constantly be worrying about the under quilt covering everywhere. They actually provide an under quilt specifically for this hammock. Um, but I'd, I've already got an under quilt. I don't wanna to have to buy another one. But it looks good. The quality looks good. Uh, much better quality than the uh, One Tigress. Much more sturdy. Seems to be a bit shorter than the One Tigress, funnily enough. Um, but that's not a problem. I've got it pitched up just high enough to keep me off the ground. You know, I have my uh, under quilt the wrong way around. So the protective water resistant layer was on the inside. Oh well, it's all a learning experience, isn't it? I should have looked at the logo. So the silver bit should be on the outside. Ah, what time is it? It's only half ten. Whew, so that was a bit of a faff. But I'm impressed so far. We'll see how my sleep is tonight. I like the fact there's a pocket here. This shelf for storing stuff in. Easily accessible. Um, in the middle of the night and it's big you don't get that with the uh, one tigress you get this little bag that broke straight away so this is much better and here comes the rain again oh right I'm gonna sit have a drink chill out come back to you later
leave it. Just cooking up some uh, sausage, bacon and egg. Brunch. Lamb's wool. Inners. They go in the bottom of your boots. Oh, they're going to feel toasty when I put those in. My feet aren't cold, but they're starting to, yeah, starting to feel it a little bit. I know they could be warmer. Yeah. <laughs> that feels good. Gonna get a bit of burning here. Yep. And that's why you don't have one of these in a tent. That was close. The whole thing slipped off. Hang on, Brucey. Bruce away. Ah, let's do that again, shall we? Shit happens, it really does. And that's still on fire. Right, let's try again. I'm gonna have to put that out first. Okay, that's out. Well, if you've never had that happen to you before, it's a bit scary the first time. But it does happen, you just catch it at the wrong angle. It's because I haven't got this on the ground. I've got it elevated, but that's the way I wanted it. Okay. So what happened there, <laughs> was I just wasn't watching. And the whole lot fell off. But luckily it is soaking wet and I've got loads of water, and I've got my fireproof gloves. You do have to be careful with mess. That's why you never use it in an enclosed space. You never use it in a tent. It's, these things just happen, just happen. You can be the best bushcrafter in the world, and the stupidest thing suddenly happens, and you'd have no idea how you let that happen. That's the first time that's happened to me with the Trangia, but I have knocked over an alcohol stove before. Same effect. You just gotta be ready for it. Right, maybe we can carry on cooking again. Now, what made me distracted was the fact that it was burnt. And I need to put some butter in there. If I'd had this on the ground, that wouldn't have happened. It's because it's sliding on the grate. But I don't want to bend down to the ground, that's why. And, as per the norm on my channel, I'm cooking in the rain, so everything's soaked. Time for lunch. I've got Brucey's lunch here as well. Bruce, do you want some? Mm. What's in here? Sit. Need this. Really need it. Look at your tail wagging. You're such a good boy. Go on then. He's just got a bit, not much. Just to keep him going. He'll finish that in seconds. Okay. I'm going to finish this up. And then maybe, if it's not raining, come back to you uh, by the river. Just for a change of scene. So much for me sitting by the river. It's chucking down again. Ugh. 
Chris. Right, the rain has stopped just for a couple of minutes. Seems to have got a bit brighter, but I can see more really bad stuff coming. So I'm gonna go and bring the wood, saw it up, get it all split, ready for tonight. sun's out finally there's, there's still a lot of cloud up there so I don't think this is gonna last for long it's actually cold but I just got hot doing all that wood but it's all chopped up ready to go okay lie down 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 Wait, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I thought he was going to jump in. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's lying down with it now. He's not going to give it back. Oh, the sun's gone in now. It's got cooler. I've got my bush shirt on. Nice and thick. Um, it's like a, it's just a converted wool blanket, that swan dry bush shirt. Bruce is having a great time. All the wood is done and ready. This should be enough to cook tonight's dinner. Um, still early, so it's gonna be a while. So I'm just chilling, sit around. I might have an early beer, see how I feel. It's raining again. Oh, the forecast was right. It was nice to get that little bit of sunshine, but uh, temperatures dropped as well. Uh, that's better. Got another pole set up. So I've got two poles, posts. So now everything should flow to the back of the tarp. Got the fire going. Used a couple of pieces of fat wood. Lights so well. Fat wood is amazing. It's just the best nature's fire lighters gives off a bit of smoke that's the resin 
but it burns really, really hot and the fire just takes, it's amazing in any conditions. And you can burn fat wood even when it's soaking wet, it doesn't matter. The resin is so flammable. All right, so while this is getting cranking, I think it's time for a beer and a cigar. A pale ale, citizen rescue pale ale. Cheers. Wow, citrusy, not grapefruit, more like lime. But nice, refreshing. Just gotta give a shout out to my gorgeous wife. It lets me come out on these things and lets me take Bruce away. She misses Bruce so much when he's with me. But she understands that he's an outdoor dog, he wants to be here. He's just behind me, I don't know if you can see him. For a change, he's lying under the tarp without me having to ask him to. He's such a good boy. Yeah, my gorgeous wife lets me come out on these uh, adventures. And uh, she's very understanding. But I need my outdoor my outdoor alone time. I will be bringing her along on one, but you're not likely to hear from her or, or see her properly. Because the internet can be a cruel beast and I don't want to expose her to that. So yeah, to my gorgeous wife, Anne. So I've got my steak on. I'm just warming it before uh, before putting it over, before the coals are ready. They'll be ready soon. I've got my potatoes and onions in the pan, and I've got a couple of red peppers. garlic bread on, some steak, my steak on there, potatoes, onions, red pepper, that's a massive meal. It's almost ready, not long now. Oh man! I've got to show you that. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. 
Right, it's dinner time, Bruce. Bruce, do you want some dinner? Oh, I know what's happened. He's tangled up in my hammock. Let me just go and fix that. So now, I might have to cowboy eat mine. Anyway. Just wait. Boy, wait, wait. Okay, no, no, sit. Wait, Bruce. All right, so I'm ready for mine. Bruce is definitely ready for his. Go ahead. Whatever. Onion first. Mm. Oh, hot potato. Oh man, I can't wait to get some steak, but I'm savouring it. I'm gonna have some capsicum, pepper. Mm. It's got to be dumb. Oh. <laughs> this is good. Mm. So juicy. Oh. This is a Misty Miyagi Hazy IPA Deep Creek. Cheers. Oh, and a shout out to Yoda. You know who you are. Oh my god, that's good. Wow, that's really good. I need a break. Wow, it is cold, but I'm hot by the fire. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the garlic bread, stoke the fire a bit, eat the rest of this and come back to you afterwards. Her dinner all done, dishes cleaned. I'm oh, so full. Finished my beer. I've chucked the last of the logs on the fire. It's nice and toasty. It's cold tonight. It started raining again, as you can hear. Bring you back for a uh, cigar and brandy. Got the last of the wood on the fire. You can see it's just burning down now. It's giving off a lot of heat. The rocks are really hot. It's got cold. It might be too cold to sit out once the fire goes. There's a really cold rain coming down now as well. And the wind's picked up. 
coming down the river. So yeah, it's pretty grim. It's way too early to go to bed. So I might have to just wrap up, chill out, watch a movie, put on my other, my bush shirt, my beanie on and just hunker down. Not before having some brandy though. Brandy is Hennessy, DSOP. Very nice. All right, I think uh, my job here is done. I'm gonna finish the cigar, finish my brandy. Let the fire go right down and go out, and then hit hit the sack. I don't know where Bruce is. Nope, he was behind me. Hey, Brucey. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Hey, come here. Come here, Bruce. You can come and say good night to everybody. Hey, here. Bruce, here. No, there's food around. He's not interested. He's, he's the Energizer Bunny. Okay. Leave it to it. Oh, okay. I'm in the hammock. The war bonnet. Blackbird XLC. And straight off, I can tell you, there's a lot more room in here. Let me just adjust the camera. Okay. Yeah, a lot more room. A lot more comfortable. I'm flat instead of in a banana shape. You just spread the fabric out and you lie crossways, and it is a lot more comfy, I have to say. I don't know if I've got the under quilt completely under me though, that's the problem. I can feel it on my right, I just I'm a bit unsure if it's on my left. No, you see, it's not. So this is a problem. <laughs> Sorry, I'm shaking it around. This is a problem if you don't use their one, is it doesn't fit. Okay, I pulled it up to my left side, but now I probably, I've just got a bit on my right, okay. So I think if you're gonna use this and lie the way they designed it to be, then you're probably better off with their specially designed underquilt that goes at a diagonal and it, I don't know how it attaches, but apparently it works quite well. This is comfy though, I have to say. Very comfy. I think I'm gonna cook tonight. I think I've got way too much sleeping bag. It is cold out, but 
These are very efficient. I think, oh, this is the most comfy I've ever been camping. This is probably more comfortable than my bed at home. I mean, I am lying exactly how I want to lie. Okay, I've got a pillow. But, ooh, I am comfy. Yeah. This is way more comfortable than the um, one tigress compound hammock. Way more comfortable. I mean, I'm flat. I'm completely flat because I'm lying across ways. You can't do that in the one tigress. Well, you could try, but it won't work very well. Right, I'm going to go to sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Bruce is, is in bed underneath me, hopefully. Or oh, he's going through the bowls. He's doing one or the other. Okay, catch you in the morning. Hopefully have a good sleep. I'll report on it in the morning. Good night. Morning. <sighs> <sighs> It wasn't a great night's sleep. I just kept thinking that the uh, under quilt was coming away from there, from the hammock. But it wasn't, it was perfectly fine because I attached it. Oh, I just got woken up by a deer, a stag, crashing against the tree here. Bruce is okay, he's still under me. He ignored it. Definitely a more comfortable lay than the one tigress. And you do lie at an angle. I think I've got this slightly too tight, the suspension straps. I think if I had it one notch less, it would be even more comfortable. So that's the thing with the hammocks is you've got to really experiment to get it right. And it takes experience, which I don't have. So I've got to learn. Um, It's, uh, it's comfy. We've got a nice window out this way and a big shelf here. See that, all that stuff in? That's the instructions for the, for the hammock right there. And that's massive, this shelf, it really is. Huge. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it was, it's a cold night. It was very cold, but I was toasty, absolutely toasty. At no point was I cold except when I had my arms out, like I'm sleeping now. But then you would wear, if it's that cold, usually you'd wear a long sleeve jumper or something. So all in all, a better experience, I'd say, than the one Tigress. I think, I would rather use the under quilt that's designed for this hammock. I think it would be a safer bet. Because I think if it got really cold, you wouldn't want to use this type. Unless you're going to lie straight and not lengthways like you meant to. I'm here Bruce with his bone. All right, I'm going to get up, get some coffee on. Catch you in a bit. It is cold. Do my cowboy coffee again.
I think it's time. I think it's time to go and have this. And we'll go and have it by the river. I'll bring you along. Cheers, coffee. stick. Hello. I'm not going to throw it for you. I'm going to talk. Talk to YouTube. It's too big. No, drop. Drop. Drop it. Drop. Bruce, drop. Oh, okay. oh my god. Nightmare in the morning. It's so full of energy. Okay, lie down. Good boy. Oh, it's been a great, great couple of nights. That, uh, again, I asked a poll of what hammock did you want to see? And um, it was, I think it, it must have got close to 50-50. And someone, I can't remember which user, follower thank you for that suggested why don't you do both one after the other so I did and the conclusion is the one tigress will do for $60 it'll do just look after it have some spares maybe swap out the carabiners that come with it for better items the mini ones uh, Check the ridge line, make sure it's secure. Just be prepared to have to patch it up a little bit. But it's $60 and it is comfortable. It's a comfortable hammock. The war bonnet, which is $230, that particular one I've got, the Blackbird XLC, double layer, it's a high quality, robust product. I can't see a lot going wrong with it, the way it's designed. Everything just seems better quality. Um, it's, it's got a nicer stuff sack, it's got a, a better ridge line system, it's got a much better bug net that you can completely remove or flip over, have one side. It's got the storage shelf, which is great, really handy feature. Um, and it is designed so you can lie flat. You cannot lie flat at all uh, in the one tigress maybe if you're i don't know maybe if you're five foot tall you could probably do it in a squeeze but no chance whereas with the war bonnet this thing is it's big this one that i've got the xlc is designed for up to six foot six and you can definitely lie flat i think you just have to practice so i'm gonna have to do a lot more practice with it to get the correct lay very tricky with hammocks. I think experience really counts. I did notice I had a, a lot of shoulder squeezing. When I didn't get the correct lay, it really pinched my shoulders. I felt some pain. So again, that's just experience to get it correct. But it was a nice sleep and I was very warm. The Outdoor Vitals under quilt. Well, look, it's it's warm, but there's problems with it. It's got flaws in the bungee, the, the attachments that came loose. I had to tie knots and everything. <laughs> Someone's trying to steal the show here. Um, ABC, are you trying to steal the show? Maybe I should call him Outdoor Vitals. He's all perky. So, it's got some flaws in it. 
and um, you've got to be prepared to, to customize it a bit to make it work properly. Oh, Bruce, stop, stop, my kettle. <laughs> oh my god, you want me to throw it? Drop, drop. So fix those flaws and it will be a good product. It's got stuck in the woods now. The uh, top quilt, always the enlightened equipment top quilt. So warm, so toasty. Yeah, that's a really good quality product. Enlightened equipment is very good quality. I'm. The reason I went for a outdoor vitals under quilt was because I think at the time the enlightened equipment you couldn't get it. I don't know if you can now. These these smaller industry ones, they custom designed and because of COVID they can take two months, six weeks or so to get something. And I, I didn't have time for that. Which is why I got the stock outdoor vitals one. Bruce? Good boy. Hey! All right, calm down. Um, so yeah, I think I would actually, I want to see what war bonnet have got, what this uh, underquilt they've got for that hammock is, what it's like. I can't remember the name of it. It's a funny name. I want to see what that's like. Uh, but I do like enlightened equipment. Both of my bags that I've got with them quilts are superb quality. Bruce is leaning against the tripod. That's why I just moved. And that one I've got in there is good down to, I think, minus, uh, minus 12 centigrade. And I've got a minus 6 centigrade one as well. Below that, I think you want a sleeping bag, not a quilt, really. So all a learning experience. The tarp, faultless. Superb. And... If you've been following me, you know that I've tried a DD hammock tarp. I've tried the Flames Creed. They've both got issues with the tabs saturating and bringing water in. No such problem with this at all. So it's because they don't sew the tab over onto the top as well. It's just underneath. So it doesn't get completely saturated. Now, you could water seal it. I, I, I hate having to seal stuff. It should come like that. Bruce, away from there. Away. Go on. Go away. Bruce. Oh. He's going to about to knock the camera over. Um, you shouldn't have to do anything. It should come from the manufacturer. Perfect. Okay. This 3FUL top, I have had this out in so many different conditions. I've never had to spray it. I've never had to treat it. Never had to repair it. Nothing. And it still looks like new. It's incredible. Um, and it's so flexible. And this is the 4x3 meter, which is a perfect size. Perfect for so many things, but perfect for hammocking. Really, really good. Perfect for the tent if there's a lot of you. Um, a great all round tent. So I thoroughly recommend the 3FUL tarp. And it is Chinese. And I wouldn't usually recommend Chinese gear because usually it's just a cheap knockoff or it's like the one Tigris it's got problems but this is is beautiful piece of kit um, I'd even be tempted to get a smaller version of that I've got another tarp coming a smaller one an AquaQuest from the States uh, 10 by 7 for my solo hikes with the MSR 10 so I can just have that perfect size just to give me a porch outside the tent um, hopefully I'll, I'll get to try that out soon and uh, bring you along for that because some people have asked me to review the AquaQuest tarp very popular on Amazon apparently Tranja faultless again only my cock up knocked it over and almost burnt camp down I'm not a bushcrafter, I'm not an expert. Look, everyone makes mistakes. I put mistakes in the video always because everybody makes mistakes and you learn from them. And if I didn't show the mistakes, then people wouldn't learn from them either. 
cowboy coffee. I hope you uh, liked that. No grinds in there at all. They're all in the bottom of the kettle. So just remember a sprinkling of um, sprinkling of cold water over the top, and all the grinds will sink to the bottom. And then you don't have to. Is it Eric Normack, the Norwegian guy, or and he sticks? He has to stick uh, pine needles and stuff in the end of the kettle to stop the grinds coming out. Just a cowboy, just sprinkle cold water over it. Be fun. Yeah. Um, great food. That grill that I use is awesome. It's a high grade. Is it 605 stainless steel? Got that on Amazon. That is amazing, that grill. Really, really good. Very, very solid, robust. Not like the Coleman's or anything else. Much better. What other gear have I got? My Tatonka Bison backpack, which is uh, always amazing. It's a heavy piece of kit, but it's a 100 litre pack. And that was full. Uh, Bruce's dog bed, <laughs> which is just a joke. I put him on it last night. I put him on the bed. He's gone in one minute. And I checked again in the middle of the night and he'd made himself a nice bed under the tree, as I predicted. Even during the rain, I had a look out and he was under that tree. But look at him. He's full of beans. He is an outdoors dog. He knows what he wants. And the camera equipment, which I can't fault. This camera goes through. I mean, I had that sitting out in that pouring rain without a cover on at one point. Amazing piece of kit. It's the Sony A6600. Oh, and I worked out how to fix that clouding uh, that we had earlier, that foggy in the morning thing. Just take the lens off and leave it to sit for a few minutes to adjust the inside. It was just the inside of the lens. And now it's perfect. That was it. So the temperature differential in, in the lens was enough, I guess, to make it fog up when you turn the camera on. And then finally, this. Come on. This is beautiful out here. Get out. Those of you who are in lockdown, I'm sorry. This is what you got to look forward to, though. It's like uh, cycling. You're going uphill at the moment. This is the downhill. This is the reward when you come out of lockdown. And I feel for all of you, having been there in lockdown. Bruce? I can hear my cutlery going everywhere over there. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Yeah, I feel for you. I was there in the UK in lockdown and I know it's gone on for months. It's crazy. Um, I'm not going to get into the politics of whether lockdowns work or not. I had COVID in the UK and we were so careful. I still got it and so did my dad. Rest in peace, dad. Um, you didn't die from COVID, by the way. It's, it's a struggle out there, I know. And you, we, we're, we've got to be a bit stoic and get through this. And this is the reward, honestly. It's waiting for you. So don't lose hope. It's all still here. It's not going anywhere, okay? Maybe use this time to accumulate gear. Test your gear. Hang it up in the garden. Tie it, you know, set your tent up, whatever, test it. There's a deer roaring behind me, way off in the distance. Um, use this time. And if you've just come out of lockdown, <laughs> go nuts, get out there. Camp, Bruce, down, lie down. Come on, come and lie down here, come on. Lie down. Good boy. Stay there. Use this time. Enjoy it out here because it's beautiful. It's not affected by everything else that's going on in the world. So, yeah. I'll bring you back when I've packed up camp. I'm not going to bother with breakfast this morning. But yeah, I'll bring you back when I've packed up camp and uh, say goodbye then.
in the meantime, I'm going to sit here, enjoy this beautiful river, and uh, have my coffee. Hi right, everybody, all packed up. Sight's clear. Bruce is ready, he's covered in seeds. Oh, I'm gonna take half an hour picking these all off. Gotta walk out of here now, a lot of gear, it's quite heavy. Hello. Um, thanks for coming along on this journey. We've had a great time, Bruce has had a great time. How many Brucey? Yeah, oh you're disgusting. I'm now filthy as well. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And please also subscribe and turn notifications on so you know when the next video is coming out. Um, and go and check out the community tab on my channel, on my profile, on my channel. Because uh, that's where I post a lot of information about what's coming up. And I put polls out there to see who wants to see what. Okay, thanks very much for coming. See you next time. Thanks, Brucey. Shall we go home? Thanks again.